What's up Tether Nation, Greg here, and today we're talking about the proper use and safety of our Lyman belts and tethers. Part of what makes saddle hunting so incredibly safe is that you're tethered to the tree, you're connected to the tree the entire time, from the ground all the way up to hunting height. When you do it properly, you use your lineman belt to climb, that's the green one, and you use your tether, the brown one, when you get to hunting height. These ropes are very, very important. Your life literally depends on these ropes. So it's very important to know the rope, understand how it works, understand the components, know how to inspect it for safety, and those things are, are very important that you do. So first of all, we're gonna start with the lineman belt. Uh, the lineman belt connects you to the tree once you start your climb. I already have one hooked up to my saddle, so I'll demonstrate it in a moment. But the, the, the lineman belt that comes from Tethered comes with a prussic loop. Your prussic loop is your friction hitch. This allows you to adjust the lineman belt as you climb. As you climb up the tree and this tree gets skinnier, uh, you sometimes will need to tighten your lineman belt. The prussic loop is how you do that. That also is what connects to your lineman loop right here. Lyman belt has a two inch fixed eye. The way I use that, I take that loop and I girth hitch it to my lineman, my lineman loop on my Manus saddle and it lives on my left hip inside of this sis hauler. The way I pack my sis hauler is the lineman belt goes in on top and the sis hauler, if you can see in there, the tether lives in the bottom. Now I do that on purpose because the first thing that comes out of my bag or my sis hauler when I get to the tree is the lineman rope. I have a Ropeman 1 as opposed to that Prusik loop. The Prusik loop works. It is safe. It is, it is, uh, a, you, you can absolutely trust your life to it, but it kind of sucks when it comes to user friendliness. This is a lot better. This works. But after you've used it um, a few times, a lot of guys end up upgrading to the Ropeman 1. Now this Ropeman 1 is a, is a climbing, a mountain climbing component. It's not something that we make. Uh, we just sell them because we love them so much. But when you get to the tree and you're ready to climb, first thing you want to do is pass your lineman belt around the tree and clip in to your other lineman loop right here. So now I'm connected on both hips. I adjust it for, if I need to be tighter to the tree, I'm in tight. If I need to be further from the tree, I loosen it out, and now I'm further from the tree. But as you can see, it supports my whole weight. It's, this is, this is doing its job. You should inspect your ropes regularly because obviously it's a very important part of your system. You wanna look at your Prusik loop. Make sure the knots are, uh, are there. Make sure that this is a double fisherman's knot. You want to inspect that. Make sure you have enough tag in coming through. You know, make sure it's there's no nicks or really um, bad scuffs, and that the the rope is in good shape. You want to do this regularly. You know, after every hunt, uh, ideally. But just take a look at it. Make sure that it works. That it's looking correctly. Make sure it slides up and down the rope. You want to make sure that it works properly with your actual lineman belt, the rope. You want to do the exact same thing. You want to inspect it regularly. If there's any major signs of wear or cuts, nicks, really bad abrasions to the rope, you want to get a new rope. It's just not worth it uh, to risk your life on, on uh, a faulty rope. Another important thing uh, for both the lineman belt and the tether is this stopper knot. If something were to happen with, your, uh, with the rope and maybe you didn't have it put on correctly and this rope, this Prusik loop or this ropeman, if it slid all the way down, you want it to stop on that on that stopper knot. It's very important. If this wasn't there and you just had a loose tail, your Prusik knot could theoretically slide all the way off. That would be bad. When you're inspecting your rope, you want to look for those things. Make sure your stopper knot is there. Make sure your Prusik is in good working order and it doesn't look uh, beat up or worn out or cut or anything like that. Inspect your rope. Make sure that it looks right. Inspect the splicing. Make sure that it looks tight and it's not coming loose. Those are the things that you want to look for. Very important. Same with your tether. All of those same things apply. Check the stopper knot and everything like that. As far as using it, when it comes to safety, 
you never want to be more than 12 to 16 inches away from the tree. From your chest to the tree should never be more than 12 to 16 inches. That's for safety. If you're way leaning out here like this, you have less of a chance of it being able to, to catch your fall if you go. Because remember the Lyman belt, it's not a fall restraint. You could fall out of the tree, you could slide down the tree even if your Lyman belt is attached. But the closer you are to the tree, the, the tighter you keep your body, your center of gravity to the tree, the less chance you have of falling, slipping, making a mistake. So you wanna stay fairly tight to the tree. Never, ever, ever want to get the lineman belt down below your waist. You should always keep it at waist higher, higher. As you're climbing, you should advance the lineman rope with you as you climb. What you should never do is have slack in your system and end up with the lineman belt down here, okay? See how that is way below my waist? That is wrong. If something were to happen, I had a climbing step fail, if I had a screw in step break, if I was standing on a limb and the limb broke, now I'm falling way down. However, if I, if I have my lineman belt up at waist high or higher where it, where it needs to be, now all of a sudden, I'm, most likely I'm not going to the ground. I'm most likely just gonna swing into the tree and I can grab it, catch it. But if I have this thing way down here where it doesn't belong, there's a lot more opportunity for failure. So never keep your lineman belt below your waist. Always advance it as you climb, as you go with you. And then, uh, you know, with the Prusik or the Ropeman one, you can adjust it like so as you climb the tree. Now, another question that we get asked all the time, it's very important, let's assume, so I've got this, this, this vine here, and we're gonna say that that was connected to the tree and it was a limb, you know. With the way that it is, I could just move it and move my lineman belt up, but if that was a limb, I'd have to go around it. And what I don't wanna do is get to that limb as I'm climbing and then disconnect my lineman belt and move it over that limb. That's the wrong answer because now I am disconnected from the tree and I'm just asking for problems. So the right thing to do in this scenario, how I would go over that limb is I would get as close as I could to it. I would make sure I was nice and tight, I felt safe, connected to the tree. My feet were stable on my climbing method. Then I would reach into my pocket, grab that tether that lives in my sys hauler. And there's a couple ways you can do it. I'm gonna show you both methods. The first way you can do it is to use the tether just like you would at hunting height and pass it around the tree over the limb install your tether just like you were at hunting height now my tether is above the limb then i would come down attach my bridge to my tether tighten it up Okay, so now I'm safe. So even if I, if, if I could take my lineman belt completely off because all of my weight would be supported into the saddle body by my tether. And that's exactly what I would do. I would tighten it up, make sure I'm secure. And then at this point, I'm free to go ahead and loosen my, my lineman belt. And you can see I'm completely supported now by my tether. Then at this point, you can remove your lineman belt go around the limb now you're safe now you can continue your climb until you move above the limb and then you continue to use your lineman belt as necessary so that's the first method the way i like to do it and the way that i've always done it in the past is to basically turn my tether into a second lineman rope and the way i do that is i carry one tiny little climbing rated carabiner and that lives in my sys hauler at all times. That way I can turn this into a second lineman belt. And the way you do that is very, very easy. You've got your Ropeman one on your climbing carabiner, just like on my lineman belt. That's, that's exactly how I would use it for my tether. So I just come over here, attach it to my lineman loop. Now I've got a secondary lineman belt that I can move over the limb, pass it around, and I take the fixed loop carabiner to my lineman belt loop on the other side. Now I've essentially created two lineman belts, one above the limb and one below it. 
once I get the weight on the top one, I can release the weight on the bottom one, remove the bottom one, climb above, and then either reattach my lineman belt and continue to climb with the lineman belt, or I can use the tether now as my lineman belt because it's essentially functioning the same way until I get up. Now, if you got multiple limbs, it makes more sense to do it this way because now I'll climb with this tether as a lineman belt until the next limb, pass my original lineman belt back around, repeat the process for as many limbs as I have until I get to hunting height. Now you've gotten to climbing height safely by going around limbs, everything that you're supposed to do the correct way. Uh, so let's talk about the proper procedures for a tether. Now I keep my tether on my left hip in my sys hauler, just like I explained earlier. All of the uh, processes for inspecting the lineman belt that we went through earlier, same thing. Inspect your Prusik, make sure you have a stopper knot, make sure everything on your Prusik loop looks good, your rope's not nicked, it's not highly abraded, it's not ripped, torn, anything like that. Same thing for your tether, very, very important. Now the correct process for installing the tether is it's actually really easy. First things first, never unclip your lineman belt until your tether is attached securely to your bridge on your saddle. It's very important. You don't wanna be disconnected from the tree. So to install your tether correctly, it's very, very simple. You've got your five inch loop, spliced eye right here. I like to pass that around the tree and then run it through. You're making a girth hitch. That's all it is. It's a simple girth hitch. Um, so unless the rope breaks, it can't come undone. It's beautiful. That right there will stay. And this rope has enough pull on it to where it won't slide down the tree. It's, it's actually pretty nice. Now, positioning of the tether. Everyone does it a little different. I've seen guys run their tether really high, as high as they can reach, and there's some benefits to that. If you're using a ring style platform, it gives you a little bit more lead to where you can lean away and walk around the tree more. So that's a method. Uh, I've seen guys tether it way down low, um, like chest high. I run mine like that a lot, uh, chest high. A little bit more comfortable for me, but it does restrict your movement a little bit. So if you're hunting from a ring style platform, it might not be your best option. If you're hunting from a pivot style platform like the Predator platform, this is a great option. Uh, I like to tell people start about forehead or chin high, somewhere right around your, your face height, somewhere right around here. It's a good starting point. And then as you learn the system, you might need to move it up or down based on comfort. And you also might need to move it up or down based on the tree. The size of the tree, the lean of the tree, all of those can affect uh, where you might put your tether. But this is a good starting point about right here, right in front of your face. The next thing you wanna do is uh, uh, attach your carabiner to your bridge. And this is just as simple as clipping it in and then locking it down. That's very important, okay? Now, just go ahead and pull your Prusik up. You want, you want some tension on, on your bridge and that will set uh, as soon as you put weight on it. Now that I'm connected to the tree with my tether, uh, everything is connected to my bridge, I can now safely remove my lineman belt and put all my weight into my tether. So the way I like to do that is I like to go ahead and just start sitting down and getting that nice and tight, making sure that Prusik is catching. See how it's catching now? So all my weight is now in that tether. Now, once I've set it and it's nice and, nice and firm, then what I'll do is I'll start loosening up my lineman belt just a little bit. So it's loose, but it's still there in case something goes wrong. Now I'm feeling, okay, everything is in my, in my tether and I'm safe. At this point, you can go ahead and remove your lineman belt, pass it around the tree, store it back in your sys hauler, take it off your saddle, whatever you, however you choose to store it, you can do that at that point. That's the correct way to do it. The, the key is you're always connected to the tree from the ground all the way up, even if limbs are present, because uh, you want to be safe. There's, there's no hunting scenario, there's no deer, there's no trophy, there's, there's no hunting scenario in which it makes sense to risk your life. Use the gear in the safest way possible, the way it's intended, and you'll get to go home at night to your family. And at the end of the day, that's the most important way. Hey, thanks for watching. Hopefully this helps you understand the safe and correct way to use a lineman belt and a tether. If you ever have any questions about 
hey, look at this damage. Is it safe? Should I be using this? Am I using it the right way? Hit us up on social media. We're on Instagram. We're on Facebook. We're on YouTube. You can send us an email. You can send us a Facebook message, an Instagram message. It doesn't matter. We want you to be safe and we want you to use your gear properly because when you use it properly, it's an efficient way to use the system. So if you have questions, reach out. We are happy to help in any way, shape, or form. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you learned something and hopefully this makes you a better saddle.